Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe, Sir Axilang. Lesson 6. Solving word problems involving quadratic equations. Geometric problems, area, and perimeter. Problem number 1. The length of a rectangular garden is 5 meters longer than its width. The area is 84 square. Find the length and the width of the garden. Solution for problem number 1. So our given... So it says there, length, our length is 5 meters more than the width. Then our width is unknown. Then also, given our area is equal to 84 square meter. Okay, from this given, so we can say that our length is equal to 5 more than the width. So, our width is x. So, therefore, our length is x plus 5. So, our x is x plus 5. Now, let us find the formula or the equation. So, again, since we are dealing with geometric problem, so if we are going to illustrate the problem, so it says here, okay, our width is x and our length is x plus 5. And our area is 84 square meter. So we are trying to look for the value of our length and our width. So for our equation, we are going to use the equation of area is equal to length times width. Then, substituting our variables with our given, so our area is equal to 84 equals our length is x plus 5 and our width is x. So this is our equation. 84 is equal to x or the quantity of x plus 5 times x. Then let us simplify. So with this, let's multiply or uh, using distributive property of multiplication over addition. So we'll have 84 equals x times x, that is x squared, then x times 5, that is positive 5x. Then rewriting this in our standard equation or standard formula for quadratic equation, we're going to get the additive inverse of positive 84 and that is negative 84. So we have 84 minus 84 equals x squared plus 5x minus 84. Then 84 minus 84, that is 0, is equal to x squared plus 5x minus 84. Then, standard form, so we will have x squared plus 5x minus 84 is equal to 0. So this is now our quadratic equation illustrating our problem. From our equation x squared plus 5x minus 84 equals 0. 
So we are going to solve for the value of our x. So let us use the method of factoring. So what are the factors of x squared? So we have x and x. And what are the factors of 85 that will give us 5? Or negative 84 that will give us 5? So we have negative 84. The factors are 12 times negative 7. So when you add, the answer is 12 plus negative 7, the answer is positive 5. So therefore, our factors are x plus 12 and x minus 7. Then using zero product property, so that will become x plus 12 equals 0 and x minus 7 equals 0. Then getting the additive inverse, so that will become x plus 12 minus 12 equals 0. So 12 minus 12 is 0, so that is x, sorry. So we have 12 plus 12 minus 12 minus 12, the additive inverse. So that will become x, 12 minus 12 is 0 equals 0 minus 12 is negative 12. So our x sub 1 is negative 12. Then for our x sub 2, we have the additive inverse of negative 7 is positive 7. So we have x minus 7 plus 7 equals 0 plus 7. So, negative 7 plus 7 is 0. So, therefore, x is equal to 0 plus 7 is 7. x sub 2. So, we have two values for our width. Negative 12 and positive 7. Now, take a look at negative 12. Do we have a measurement of negative 12 meters in reality? So, we don't have. So, therefore, x equals negative 12 is not the solution. So, we have x is equal to... 7. So, this will be our solution, the positive value. Therefore, our width is equal to x, is equal to, our x is 7 meters. 7 meters. Then, our length is equal to x plus 5. So, that is equal to 7 plus 5 equals 12 meters. So again, our area is equal to length times width. So our area is 84 meters squared, which is equal to our length is 12 meters. Our width is 7 meters. So therefore, this is equal to 84 meters squared equals 84 meters squared. Problem number two. The perimeter of a rectangular garden in front of Governor Mandanas Building at Payapa National High School is 36 feet and the area is 80 square feet. Find the dimension of the garden. Solution for problem number two. So from our problem, our given are our perimeter is equal to 36 feet. Our area is equal to 80 feet squared. So we are required to look for our length and for our width. So again, our garden So we have width, width, length, length. So the perimeter is 36 feet and the area is 80 feet squared. Okay, from this problem, we have two formulas to be used. So we can use perimeter. So our perimeter Is equal to the measurement of all sides. So we have W plus W plus L or length plus length. Simplifying this, so we have 2W 
equals to plus 2L is our perimeter. Then also, our area, for our area, that is length times W. Using the two equation, we have B is equal to 2W plus 2L and A is equal to L times W. Let us substitute the value of our perimeter in our area. So for this, we will have 36 is equal to 2W plus 2L. Then, for this one, our area is 80 equals L times W. Since we have two variables, we have W and L, W and L. So, from equations, we are going to solve one, solving L in terms of W. So, we're going to solve L in terms of W. So, from this, we will have 80 equals L times W. So, solving for L in terms of W, we are going to divide both sides by W. So, therefore, our L is equal to 80 over W. Then, after this, we are going to substitute this L to this L. Okay? Substitute, so we will have, so from this, we will have 36 equals 2W plus 2 times. Our L is 80 by substitution, substitution 80 over W. Then simplifying, we will be having 36 is equal to 2W plus 160 over W. Then, multiplying both sides to eliminate W as the denominator, so we have to multiply both sides by W. So W times 36, so we have 36W equals W times 2W, that is 2W squared. Then plus, 160 times W divided W, cancel W, that is 160. Then, rewriting this in standard form, so this will be negative 2W squared plus 36W minus 160 equals 0. So I applied the addition property of equality. Then, multiplying both sides by negative 1, so we will have 2W squared minus 36W plus 160. We have 2W squared plus 36W plus 160 equals 0. Then dividing both sides by 2. So we have W squared minus 18W plus 80 equal to 0. So this is now our quadratic equations that, ex that explains problem number 2.
Then solving for our width or for our W, let us use factoring. So we have to factor the given equation. So factor of W squared is W, W. Factor of 80, so we have, since this is negative, so both factors are negative. So negative 10 and negative 8. When we add, the answer is negative 18. So, therefore, our factors are negative 10 and negative 8. Okay. Then, applying zero product property, so we'll have W minus 10 equals 0 and W minus 8 equals 0. Then, additive inverse, W minus 10 plus 10 equals 0. So, negative 10 plus 10 is 0. So, W. So, plus 10 here. So, W equals 10. For W sub 1. Then, for W sub 2, so we have negative 8, additive inverse, plus 8, equals 0 plus 8. So, we have W, negative 8 plus 8 is 0, equals 8. So, with number 2, or W sub 2. Now, let us see which of this width measurement is true. Which of this measurement of width is true? So, from our equation 2, kanina na L is equal to 80 over W. So, in our equation here, let's see if it is true. So, if our W is equal to 10, what will be our L? So, L is equal to 80 divided by 10. So, L is equal to 8. Now, is it true or false? Our length is 8 and our width is 10. So, that is false. Kasi, dapat mas mahaba ang length kaysa width. So, hindi pwede na kukuha ni natin ay W sub 1 which is 10. So, that is not the solution. So, let's see. If our W is 8. So, if our W is 8. So, we'll have L is equal to 80 over 8. So, L is equal to 10. So, length is 10 and W is 8. So, that is true. Now, so for our checking, so the perimeter which is 36 is equal to 2L plus 2W. So, we'll have 36 equals 2 times 10 plus 2 times 8. So, we'll have 36 is equal to 20 plus 16. So, we have 36 is equal to 36. So, meaning our length and width are correct. And for our area, which is L times width, so, we have area is 80 equals length is 10 times width is 8. So, we'll have 80 is equal to 10 times 8. That is 80. 